Welcome to e know how. In this video we would look at inductors connected in series and uh, what the equivalent inductance is. So let's take a voltage source V of T. Assume it has some kind of series resistance RS. Then we have two inductors L1 L2 connected in series across this voltage source. This is L1 and L2. So now we have a voltage developed across L1 which is VL1, VL1 of T and then there would be a voltage developed across L2 which is VL2 of T. And if you look at this, the current flowing through both the inductors is the same, which is I of T. So now, if you write, now we would like to find out the equivalent the inductance between these two points here. So now, if you write V, VL1 of T, which is L1 di of t over dt and then V L2 the voltage dropped across the second inductor would be L2 di of t over dt so now if you add these two so the total voltage dropped across points say A and B here is total voltage is V that is VL1 of T plus VL2 of T is the total voltage dropped across VL equivalent of T. So now we can write L equivalent to di of t over dt which is basically this one that would be equal to vl1 of t is l1 di of t over dt plus l2 di of t over dt. Now from this you can say L1 plus L2 di of t over dt. From this we can see that L equivalent would be L1 plus L2. So if you add more inductors in series, say you, you add another one plus say L3 or N that would be DI of T or DT so that would add L3 here so what it means is when inductors are connected in series the the total inductance it adds up like a resistance so <coughs> inductance connected in series the inductors add up 